Hello, my name is Tias Solsen and today I would like to introduce you to um, how to prepare a delicious sencha. Now many videos have been done about preparing sencha and um, they're usually according to um, the set standards that have been created by the uh, Nihonja Instructors Association in order to um, know how much leaf to use, for example, to in relation to hot, how much hot water you use, etc. Um, what many videos don't do is to show you also how to make a delicious second and uh, third brew as well. Now today I will show you how to prepare the, uh, the first brew of a delicious Saint and how to um, set the, the standards and which procedures to follow in order to create um, a delicious brew. But in the following videos I will also in, um, invite you to look at how to prepare a delicious second and third brew because sencha can be brewed for several infusions after each other. Um, what I have here is um, my little kettle with hot water. This is about 100 degrees. Uh, it's just boiled so um, it should still be pretty hot. I have my kyusu which is a small Japanese teapot with um, a, s a handle to the side which is um, very common to Japanese teapots and then I have two cups um, which will hold about 100 to 120 cc's centiliters uh, or milliliters uh, however you'd like to call it um, of tea, which is the, sta the standard um, measurement for um, one cup of, uh, of Sencha, of standard Japanese tea. And this is uh, the tea. You usually calculate about 2 to 3 grams per person, and um, for each person you'd like to make an additional cup for, you just add that same amount. So for two persons that would be about five to six grams. For three persons that would be closer to nine. So what you first do is in order to cool down the water because preparing Japanese tea or um, other types of green tea um, can relate to um, this standard as well. Uh, you would like to cool down the water a little bit and in order to do that because this is currently boiled and about 100 degrees you would want to transfer the hot water into the cups first and by doing so you can cool down the hot water by about 10 degrees so pouring them in the cups will make it about 90 degrees and at the same time, you can also measure the amount of water you would like to use and you can heat up the cup so that you can enjoy your tea warmer for a longer period of time afterward. Now while you're still waiting uh, for the water to cool down, you insert the tea leaf. I have measured the amount uh, already before I started this video. So this is about 6 grams of um, <coughs> sencha. You insert that tea leaf into the kyusa, into the teapot. And then you wait just a little bit longer in order for the water to uh, cool down sufficiently. Now next when you transfer the water into the kyusa, the kyusa is cold as well, so it will um, absorb a lot of the temperature again and that will cool down the water to about 80 degrees and 80 degrees is the temperature that is um, preferable for a delicious sencha. Now the sencha that I've chosen today is an organic sencha from the uh, Okumidori cultivar and it's a sencha from um, a tea farm in Nara which only produces um, fully naturally grown organic tea. They also do black teas and uh, a few other types um, but today I would like to introduce you to this 
um, organic sencha from the Okomidori cultivar. So our water has cooled down a bit. We're making a little circular movement, we pour the water into the fusa. That is to um, make the leaf turn around in the cusa and to let it mingle with the water well. Afterward, you just let it stand in the, and gradually let the tea leaf bloom. So having closed the lid of the teapot, you now wait about 40 seconds to a minute. So 40 seconds have passed. Now we will pour out the brew into our cups. And in order to make the brew evenly um, delicious in each cup, we only pour little by little. Because if you would <coughs> pour first cup full, cup full and then the second cup, you might get a very um, pale brew in the first cup and a very dark brew in the last because most of the, um, the extract of the brew will be in the bottom of the cuse where the tea leaf is. And also by doing this you can evenly divide the amount of uh, tea that is offered into each cup. And very important is that you let the tea drip until the last drop, because the last drop is said to be the most delicious. But that is not all. We will also be making a second and a third brew. And we want to make <coughs> that brew evenly delicious. So we want all of the water to go out of the kiesa in order to... Um, make sure that the leaves don't mold inside. So having let the last drop uh, drip from the cuse, you can either shake the cuse a little bit in order to let the leaf fall back or you can also tap the back slightly. That will create space in between the tea leaf in order to let air in between so that for the next infusions the tea will um, not get all moldy. And another thing we want to do in order to create a better second and third infusion is to set the lid ajar so that the steam can escape. So please enjoy your first infusion of your Sencha. Thank you for watching. And next, in the next video, I will introduce you to brew a second and then again a third infusion.